if you want to remember the medial ligaments, you just remember that a lady is there, which is wearing a skirt, and you have to go all the round to that skirt. So this portion of the skirt is your medial malleus, right? Now, when coming to the medial ligament, this whole complex, we call it as deltoid ligament, fine? Now, this deltoid ligament has got a superficial layer and a deep layer. So superficial layer, you have tibio calcaneal, tibio spring, tibio navicular, right? So means those who are going to the, uh, you know, like calcaneum, navicular, so they are going to be your, in the superficial layer. And your something which is going to the talus, anterior tibio talar or posterior tibio talar, they are in the deep layer. Now there is again a controversy in that because this posterior tibio talar has got a superficial component and a deep component. So some researchers, they just feel that the superficial component of this should be included in the superficial layer of this deltoid ligament, but some they do not believe in. So it is up to you whichsoever you want to believe it is up to you you can call them you can call the superficial layer of the posterior tibio talar in the superficial layer or you can just call learn it by heart it in the deep layer so again this ankle ligaments on the medial side we call them as deltoid ligament so it's a complex where you are having lots of ligaments when you start from uh, first of all you have a superficial component and a deep component so superficial if you see, you have your tibio calcaneal, means it is going from the medial malleus, it is going up to the calcaneum. Until where? Says tentaculum telly. Then you have tibio spring. That is also a ligament, which I will be showing you. This will be the one which will be, okay, I can show you in this itself. Okay. So you have this cis tentaculum telly. Okay. Why it is not working? Okay, so you have the cystentaculum telly, then you have the talus, and then you have the navicular bone. So this spring ligament will be bridging these three bones together. Just to, uh, this is uh, the one which will be just maintaining your medial longitudinal arch as well, right? So this is the one which is here. So we do have a ligament from the tibia and it is not going anywhere to the bone. It is going to another ligament and that ligament is tibio spring ligament. Then from the tibia, it goes to the navicular bone. So all these components are in the superficial layer. Going to the deep layer, you have the tibio talar ligaments. Now this tibio talar ligaments do have a superficial component and a deep component. Fine. And this will be shown by So, uh, you, know, you can see the my proposition already shown in the uh, 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 presentation that it should be the fan shaped manner, the proximal part, my aspect marker over the medial malleolus, and then I will be rotating it as a fan shaped going anteriorly towards the navicular bone. So, I will be starting with the calcaneum here, then I will be going anteriorly like this. Is it clear? So, now what I will do? I'll be starting from the tarsal tunnel. You know, tarsal tunnel you all know, but still just a quick recapitulation. In fact, I can go a little above also. So if I'm going here, you see, how do you can see here? Here, the and if I'm pressing a little bit, so the vein is obliterated. And at this point, what you can see here is, This is your tibia. This is your TVL is posterior. Little bit of anisotropic. Here, this is your Tom Dick flexor digitorum. And here you can see there is a myotendinous junction. It is not fully tendon. See, this part is your tendon and this part is your muscle. If I'm going a little bit down, then the whole thing will be tendon only. And then this is your artery, and this is your very big football sepet nerve here. The nerve has not yet divided here. And you can see the retinoculum is now appearing. Okay. So my aspect marker is towards the, okay, I forgot to mention it. I, my aspect marker is, is towards the medial malleolus, towards the tibia. So that means 
my left side of the screen is aspect marker and left side of the screen is towards the tibia anterior and the right side of the screen is the posterior side okay let me clear the drawing drawings and let me unfreeze so here i started from here at this point i was pressing a little bit to compress the vein so here it is little i was from here where the uh, dick was my tendinous flexor digitorum longus was my tendinous and now i am coming down so it is becoming fully tendinous and now the tibial nerve you see tibial nerve was single here tibial nerve has started dividing gradually and now you can see the flexor retinoculum very nice flexor retinoculum on the top of all these three structures and flexor you know hairy is not yet nicely visible but hairy is anisotropic hairy is just below the nerve is hairy flexor hallucis is longus so now i am coming little still down so till down at this group we can see now the flexor hallucis so if i am freezing here so now flexor hallucis is appearing here so here the tibial is posterior and your dick flexor digitorum and this is your tibial nerve and artery i have compressed the vein so vein is not nicely visible now medial ligament so i was supposed to start from here tarsal tunnel so what i am seeing here this was your tibialis posterior this is your flexor digitorum longus and then my then the you know the blood vessel then your nerve this is your this was your vector nerve and this is your the hairy you know flexor hallucis longus so three tendons are seen these are anisotropic and these are uh, you know the hyperechoic so remember these things so when these will be you know hyperechoic then it will be anisotropic so if i'm tilting this this will be very nicely seen and that it will be becoming black so remember that that because of this you know disposition of this uh, tendons we cannot see all the tendons very nicely okay now let me come to the tendon ligaments so what dr kanchan already mentioned that the it starts from the tallow tibio talar ligament sorry tibio talar ligament so here and uh, another very important thing is all around the tibial is posterior tendon will be guiding us okay so what can you see here this is your tibia this is your talus and you can see very nice superficial talo tibial ligament okay and below that you just follow that the structures below so it will be you know like black and white black and white tiger um you see look at my foot i am dorsiflexing and i am trying to stretch this ligament so at this point so you can see the superficial layer and you can see the deeper layers also okay so this is this was the superficial tibio talar ligament and this part you see the black and white black and white you know this is your deep posterior tibio talar ligament so above one is the superficial tibio talar ligament posterior tibio talar ligament and deep so from this point so pansepet manner will be going little more anteriorly so i was here so very nice all the ligaments are very deeper layers are very nicely seen deeper layers and now i am is look at my probe i am tilting my probe towards now you see this is your sustentacular talus is appearing this is another bone you see what is happening so now we can see the tibio calcaneal ligament very nicely seen so this is your tibio calcaneal ligament and what is this this is your this is posterior sir yes and this is sensor digitorum longus uh, i was first here so tibio superficial and deep tibio talar and then sustentacular talar is coming 
and we can see the tibio calcaneal ligament from tibia medial malleolus to sustentico talli and we can see the two ligament two tendons are there in oblique view and now i am going more so now what is appearing very nice tibio spring ligament see here this is your now tibial is posterior cam came here and this is your the spring ligament in short axis and uh, this is little bit hypoechoic and this is your tibio spring ligament tibio spring ligament right. so i'm just showing it again so starting from here now sustenticular talli is coming this is sustenticular talli so you can see the tibio calcaneal ligament and now I'm going more medially, with distal end, we are more anteriorly, sorry. And you see that gradually, gradually, the tibio spring ligament is coming. So now in this position, this is your tibio spring ligament. This is your tibialis posterior. Below that is your tibio spring ligament. It's very nicely seen. Very nicely seen. Now I'm going more anteriorly. So now what will happen? So here two things will be there. One is we'll be getting the tibio anterior tibio talar ligament. So you can see anterior tibio talar ligament and just superficial. And if I'm rotating it more, so this is your anterior tibio talar ligament. This is the superficial part and this is the deep part. And if I'm going little more, then the navicular bone is coming. So now the navicular bone has appeared. And at this position, this is your the tibio navicular ligament. This is your tibio navicular ligament. Okay, so now how do you need to see the spring ligament itself in long axis? Spring ligament we have seen in a short axis. So this was your so this was your the tibio navicular. So now spring ligament. Spring ligament is from where to where? It is from sustenticular talli to navicular, navicular bone. And in between there will be talus. So what what I do, you know, I follow this one is better. So if I see here, I can see two bone. What are these two bone? One is on the left side of the screen towards the aspect marker is your uh, the um, uh, the tibia, and then is your the talus. And now the sustentacular talli is appearing. So this bone is sustentacular talli. So once you are getting the sustentacular talli, so fix the distal end of the probe over the sustentacular talli, and now rotate your proximal part of the bone, proximal, look at my, what I'm doing. So now what I'm doing, the aspect marker, I am fixing the distal part over the sustentacular talli and the, I am rotating it, rotating it. And now see three bones are coming. So now towards the aspect marker, my aspect marker is anteriorly, I can see three bones. So what are three bones? So this is your sustentacular talli. I fix my distal end of the probe here. This is your the aspect marker now anteriorly. So this is your navicular and this is your talus. So the spring ligament is here. This ligament is your spring ligament. This ligament is your spring ligament. And this is your in oblique view. This is your tibialis posterior tendon. So this is your spring ligament. Spring ligament is a bulky ligament from here to here, bridging the over the, the talus bone. 